Now, just recently, I did a video on the possibility or viability of the 22 long rifle as a concealed carry and self-defense gun. Now, it is the most comprehensive review out there, in my opinion, on the subject as far as actual real-life tests using the 22 long rifle and everything from ballistic gel, water, melons, hams, chickens, even a bobcat, and even a cow. Now, I think I prove with the right ammo that the 22 can be an effective and more of an option than most of you would think. You know, it is not to suggest in any way, shape, or form in this universe or any other, ver other universe that it is the best option, but more of an option than most of you might think. Now, with that said, what is then the best gun for concealed carry and self-defense in a 22. Now, aside from the issue of lack of energy or stopping power, the biggest concern, and maybe even more, is the reliability concern of rimfire ammo. We will put that to the test, too. Now, I have done many reviews on the 22 long rifle as a potential option for self defense and concealed carry using North American Arms mini revolvers, a couple of those, Keltex P17 here just recently, and Ruger's LCP2. 22. Now, M Carbo is a company that offers after-the-market components to increase the quality and reliability of guns, just like the LCP2 and other 22 pistols. And I have actually done and used a lot of their components in previous reviews. Now, they installed all the components that they have for the LCP2 because we wanted to see just how reliable can we possibly make the LCP2 for the purposes of concealed carry and self-defense? So let's put it to the test. Let's put 2,000 plus rounds through this in a torture test and find out what kind of reliability we can get. Check this out. I'm Drew Case. Welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. From all the small pocket 22s that I have personally shot, Ruger's LCP2 is the smallest, lightest, and most reliable in a semi-auto platform. Now, it definitely fits in your pocket or purse without even being noticeable um, that it's their little printing. This hands down is my personal favorite for carrying if I'm going to carry a 22. Now, my wife has shot this a lot, and she likes it. Um, we were back here doing some work with the P17, and she was talking about jogging, biking, hiking, um, and this would be her number one choice as long as it's reliable. And as far as the ammo in that review that I did, it's definitely viable. So what I want to do now is I want to test, torture test this and see how many rounds we can get through it. What kind of reliability can we actually expect with quality ammo? Now I already did a review on this. Check that out for the breakdown and all the specific details of the LCP2. This review is strictly to just put 2,000 plus rounds through it and see how it does with some of the components from M Carbo in it. Now, I also have a Viridian that they donated the E Series Green Laser, as this would be, in my opinion, absolutely ideal, critical for something like this for self defense and concealed carry. You know, the, yeah, if you're a really good shot and you practice a lot, these simple iron sights will work. Green laser makes it kind of a, a no-brainer. Anyway, ammo is going to be critical in self-defense and needs to be not only effective but reliable. CCI is well known 
for their reliable and quality 22 ammo and a special thanks to them for donating the ammo for this it is quality ammo in my previous review with the p17 i only had one yes one light primer strike out of 2300 plus rounds that is phenomenal guys if you've shot 22 long rifle yeah one light primer strike out of 2300 plus rounds um that's impressive in my opinion it doesn't get better than cci for 22 long rifle ammo now real quick here's what all m carbo put into this and it didn't break the bank Again, if you've not checked out the review that I did on the 22 CCI ammo for self-defense, you are going to want to see that. You don't want to miss it, guys. It's long, but I shot a lot of stuff, and you're going to want to see for yourself if you have any consideration for the 22 as a backup or for self-defense. Okay, guys, we're going to do time lapse from here. So you can see there's 500, 1,000, 1,500, and I've already started on that. That will be 2,000 rounds. I used, uh, I already used about 100 and some getting the laser and just kind of having some fun. What I'm going to do here is I will just pull these out. I'll dump them and I'm going to be firing away. I've got my other camera up there. We'll show some. Uh, regular time shooting and then I'm just going to start stacking them as they go up here and what I will do I will put that one right here you can see there any jams any hiccups anything I'll just start putting in here so you can kind of keep a running tally with me let's go to time elapse on this one I really wish Didi was here for this review. Um, but don't worry, darling. I saved some ammo, so we will come back on our own, and we will have some fun with this. Uh, I'm just going to test it out and make sure that it is good to go for you. I'm going to just hold these. I'm going to do it one-handed. Let's get some ammo dumps going here. Try a little transition. Hey, before I forget the up Lula, man, I could not do this torture test without this little device. And if you do not have up Lula, you need to get you some. Okay, now I want to use just the iron sights. Uh, green laser is off, and we'll just do iron sights. Okay, this is just iron sights, no lasers. I will show you though that I have sight paint on here. That's on my Amazon page. Highly recommend that. You absolutely need that. Let's go 25 yards. Hey folks, are you enjoying this review? If you are, help support the channel. Hit that subscribe button. This helps more than just about anything. It's simple, quick, costs you nothing. Not a zip, zero, nothing. So hit that button. Keep the reviews coming. Now, if you have not visited my webpage, you should for many reasons, like my discount codes for some of the great companies, including ammo, guns, and gear. I have a list of the companies that I use the most and recommend. At the bottom of the page is a list of current discount codes ranging anywhere from 5 to 15% off anything in your cart. Now, you should be interested in my crazy, stupid deals subscription. Here are some of the deals that I found in the past. And when I find these, I now have the ability to share in an instant with everyone that subscribes. And I blast them out in an email as soon as I find them it costs you nothing unsubscribe at any time i have saved folks hundreds even thousands of dollars don't take my word read the comments it works it's awesome and it costs nothing if you follow my channel and you shop on Amazon, you can help support and keep the reviews coming by going on to Amazon through my link. Anything and everything you purchase by doing so helps support the channel. You can literally buy toilet paper through my link and it helps support the channel and the reviews. 
Simply save the link to your phone or your computer and shop as you always do. It'll Check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You got nothing to lose. Literally thousands have found them helpful. Read the reviews and see for yourself. And check out the cooking tips page. There are some awesome recipes on there. Good food. And it can literally save you thousands of dollars a year. Thanks for your help. Couldn't do it without you. Okay, let's go to 50 down there. There was our first light primer strike. Better put that in the box. As I'm sitting here and I'm feeling lazy loading these, I thought, you know, hey, what, uh, what if I just lean over like this? And then I don't even have to get up. I can just sit here and shoot all day. Then what? Something I want to try is aiming with both eyes open. Basically, not aiming, but it's really helpful with having um, the paint on here. But anyway, you kind of just, you hold up and you just sort of line up both eyes open. I'll, uh, let's see what we can do with that. I've got another thousand rounds to practice, so I might as well be doing something useful here. Let's see what I can do both eyes open. It's definitely easier. If you've never tried this, you should. It's interesting. Okay, guys, as you can see on the, the time lapse, I'm just short of a thousand rounds. I've got uh, about maybe 70 left but I'm actually kind of running out of time. It's a, a trap shooting day for my son, so we actually got to drive back to town for the second round of trap. So far, this is what I've had. Yeah, let's, let's get out of the sun here. Oh, there, we, there we go, all right. This is what I've had for light primer strikes. Now, every single one of those, when I put it back in and cycled it back through, fired. Okay, because I don't want this to go on CCI. Those were light primer strikes related to the gun. I did only have one, again, light primer strike that did not fire off out of, uh, I'm going to call it a thousand, but we'll have to round up on the next one. Anyway, I got to head out. We will catch up and finish this in just, uh, well, hopefully a couple of days here. Okay, so we're back for the final thousand rounds and plus about... 70. I've got a lot of ammo to get through. Let's get going. I'm going to do the time lapse. I'll do I'm going to keep track here just like we did before and let's get through and see how it does. Okay, I just want to do both eyes open again. I just got to say, I, I absolutely love this little pistol. Um, you know, with the Viridian Green Laser on here and just the size, the concealability, and so far the reliability. I mean, I have had, uh, I mean, maybe about 15 light primer strikes, all of which end up going off later, but they're not jams. I mean, it's it's a quick, easy, clear. Um, but anyway, this thing is, is it's just, it's fun. And how fast we can transition is just crazy stupid. It's just fun. And I'm not even aiming, I'm just using just the green laser. Easy. That's awesome!
Okay, so we're coming down to the very, actually we're over 2,000 because I had about 100 to get the laser zeroed before I even started on the 2,000. But, you know, we're over 2,000 rounds and this is what we're still able to do at 25 yards. I would say that it held zero really well. I mean, enough that we're not having any issues at all. Okay, guys, this is the last of the 2,000 rounds. Actually, it was a little bit more, but as far as what we got here, this is the last of the 2,000 rounds. There you go, 2,000 rounds. Okay, so out of the 17 light primer strikes, we had a total of six that wouldn't go. Um, that's really not too bad. That's it's actually a few more than I had with the P17. Um, you know, I'm not sure if the the firing pin on this maybe just doesn't quite hit as hard as the P17, but we also didn't have any jams with this. All we had was 17 light primer strikes that basically all we had to do was clear and it was done. Okay, so to wrap it all up, we got through 2000. Um, I actually had another box or two, I can't remember, before I started this 2000, so technically it's like 2000, 200 but um, here is was 2000 that we brought back here and this is all we had for issues okay these there was six there okay that just did not fire uh hit them a couple of times and then these were the other light primer strikes and they all went when i put them back in did not have a single jam, did not have anything as far as a light primer strike in which all I did was rack the slide and it was ejected. Did not have any failure to eject other than the light primer strike and didn't have any of the other kind of, you know, where the shell casing stopped it, where I had to really stop shooting other than just simply pull the slide back and back in business. The Viridian held true all the way through um, as you saw it's spot on guys this is an absolute pleasure to shoot i love it now for some this may be unacceptable for me that is more than acceptable especially considering it's a 22 and we didn't have jams but anyway that's for you to decide you know here's here's the data here's the facts you saw it you decide what you think um it is what it is the best way to have compared this was to do 2,000 rounds with the LCP-2 from the factory and then another 2,000 rounds uh, after sending it to M Carbo. But uh, that's not how I did it. Uh, I really, I do think that the modifications helped. Uh, you definitely can't go wrong with, you know, the stainless steel uh, spring guide rod. Uh, the trigger, I do enjoy. I like having the flat trigger. It feels good. Anyway, it is what it is. There you have it. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If so, help support the channel. Be sure and hit that subscribe button, guys. It really does help the most. Be sure to like and comment. Until next time, happy shooting. Remember, educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. For that matter, educate everybody to gun safety. And also, every time that we're out, we're shooting everybody's watching us okay all eyes are always on us that makes you and me ambassadors for the second amendment so please 
be a good ambassador for the Second Amendment, be a safe and responsible gun owner.